parties are now in the stormy seas. Two more join SJB without Maduma Bandara knowing it. Dilith plans a new game. Is AKD an avatar of Raniels? The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Prouti Pelagasma. Parties are now in the stormy seas. Parties of the conventional sort are in the stormy seas following the presidential poll's outcome. It was like the disappearance of the left after JR's victory in 1977. Some say the right wing has suffered the same fate due to the NPP's emergence as the victor. Leaders of those parties, despite their egos, are thinking about a union to prevent a two-thirds majority going to AKD's party at the upcoming general election. At the same time, Raniel and Sajith think about their so-called pride above all other things. No games. Let's unite. Backbenchers of both the United National Party and the Samagi Jana Balawigaya are pressuring their leaders to set aside differences and unite. Even CBK has become involved, according to certain media. Diviner reports that talks are underway between Ranil, CBK and Sajith to contest the general election via a common alliance. Ranil met the former SLPP MPs who supported him at the presidential election at his Colombo place. Also, CBK had discussions with the ex-MPs of the SLFP in Nitambua. They won't contest without getting united first. Second-rung leaders are urging their hierarchy that the two parties should get together or else they refuse to contest the upcoming polls. Akila, Ravi K and Ashu are saying so in public now. SJB's Maduma Bandara too thinks along the same line. So, Lucky had to start talking to Ruin and several rounds of discussions have already taken place at various temples and hotels. UNP's Ashu says their talks with the SJB so far have been positive. The only condition laid down by the SJB is that Ruin be made leader of the UNP since Raniel has decided against contesting elections or entering parliament via the national list. Lucky assured to cooperate if that happens. Raniel gives earful to SJB's emissaries. So, some UNP seniors met Raniel and put forward the SJB's suggestion. They were rewarded with an earful by their leader. He has reportedly inquired as to why Sajith wanted to change the line of officials in another party. It seems unlikely that he will agree to the SJB's condition. So, talks between Lucky and Ruin are to conclude today without any agreement reached. Both Sagala and Wajira agree with Ranil that they should not give in to Sajith. But ex-SLPPer Prasanna and his gang think differently. They are not opposed to the UNP and the SJB getting together to contest under a separate alliance. Contest separately and unite after the election, is what they say. Raniel looks the other way. With the pressure he is coming under, Raniel has given a green light to Prasanna and his lot. Wajira and Sagala have been urging him to unite with the trophy and chair alliances to contest the general election. On the 26th night, they had lengthy talks and decided to contest under Raniel's gas cylinder symbol. But the party they are going to hire is yet to be decided. On offer are Trophy, Chair, as well as Ravi K's Swan parties. In the meantime, Fonseca's secretary Sanaka Silva has offered to give his new party with the torch symbol to Raniel. Signs so far are that the decision will be to contest under the UPFA with the gas cylinder symbol. A letter has been sent to the Election Commission in that regard. Anyway, Raniel is expected to finalise a decision on Saturday. A separate meeting at Flower Road. On the 26th, Raniel's Flower Road political office had a meeting of all the parties that supported Raniel for the past two years on contesting the general election under a common alliance. The SLPP's SB says they would contest as a group, but that the party and the symbol would be decided later. Also present at the discussion were Dinesh and Ruan. Ruan fabricates things, says media loyal to Sajith. Hearing about Ranil's plans to rally his supporters under the gas cylinder, media loyal to Sajith has started attacking all and sundry. Ruan's claim of Ranil stepping down is a lie and Lanza, Mahinda Nanda and Abe Guna Wadena met him and discussed contesting the election according to their reports. 
They are telling Sajith not to fall prey to Ranil's plan to bide his time. Two more join SJB without Maduma Bandara knowing it. In the meantime, political circles were surprised to find two young UNP electoral organisers joining the SJB. Waruna Rajapaksha from Gampaha and Mahesh Senanayake from Yatinuwara met Sajith and extended him their support. Waruna was a progressive thinker and very close to Ranil's ideology. So was Mahesh. Both attacked Sajith very strongly. Waruna made very logical criticisms of the NPP too. So their crossover came as a surprise for some. What effect such wooing will have on talks on union talks is a matter for concern. It is true that both Ranil and Sajith are eyeing the talent in their opposing camps. Rehan in a salvation operation. Rehan Jayawikrama, the Welagama organiser, took the Waruna and Mahesh duo to Sajith. First, the trio discussed the danger of going their separate ways. Rehan got in touch with Mahesh and then linked up to Waruna too. Thereafter, he spoke to Sajith, who promptly okayed it. Waruna says a division of the right-wing parties into two camps gave victory to AKD. With Ranil out of politics following his defeat, the two camps should set aside petty personal objectives and unite on a common political ideology, he says. Mahesh says that leftist politics cannot help a country to come out of trouble. Are they Trojan horses? But some are of the view that it was not a real crossover, but in actual fact, a Trojan horse sent by Ranil. Susil Manatunga says on Facebook that all are Ranil's plans to ally some UN pers with the SJB both officially and unofficially and send them to Parliament. The first step is to send at least five UN pers to Parliament via Sajith and as many via Dinesh. All will be Ranil's puppets. Trojan horses in Sajith's camp will start their act in two years' time. They will leave Sajith after getting three of four times stronger in number. Also, UN Purs stationed in Trophy and Chair will unite as an opposition group under a young leader and will be handled by Ranil himself. Patali, Fonseca, Diana, Harin and Manusha did it previously. Ranil has new faces to continue with it. So some say Sajith should postpone his tour of Yala at the weekend and think about this at length. Sajith's decision shatters Kandi Gampaha SJB big shots. In the event Waruna comes up in Gampaha, other SJB politicians in the district will find him quite a headache. In Kandy, Kiriela hopes to get nominations for his daughter. Mahesh will vie for that too. It is said that Manaparuma and Kavinda in Gampaha are planning to challenge Waruna. The district's top persons, including the electoral organisers, spoke among themselves over the phone and gave vent to their worries. Harshana too spoke to Madama Bandara, while Kavinda finds things very unpleasant. Manaparuma too is a worried man. It was him who went to Dharana on Sajith's behalf after that one failed to turn up at the presidential debate. Maduma Bandara claimed he was unaware of plans to accept Waruna and Mahesh. He said he got to know it only after he was asked to join for a photograph. Dilith plans a new game Dilith contested for the presidency under the CPSL's star symbol. Now he is to vie for the premiership under his own MJP with the airplane symbol. But it is said that he is seeking a change of the parts symbol. He hinted at that at a meeting at the party headquarters on the 26th with Dilam too, joining him as his national organiser. He said the MJP would contest all districts with the certainty that theirs is the most influential alliance. Dilith invited others for a dialogue too. Dilith eyes the broken up SLPP too. All the parties got scattered after the presidential race. Currently, Dinesh is in talks with Dilith on a possible alliance. Prasanna confirmed it. Ex-SLPP politicians who had supported Ranil formed a new alliance recently. Its general secretary is Ramesh, who is talking to other parties to obtain their support. Is AKD an avatar of Ranil's? Various posts are appearing about the new president, AKD. One says that AKD has become more professional since winning. That is shown by the decisions he takes and the way he speaks too. The body language during his address to the nation shows his feeling of responsibility and the great burden he carries. Such gets noticed more than the manifestos and economic figures. 
His way of speaking, facial expressions, etc. will make him attractive. Don't be surprised if he wins the hearts of the women folk more than Mahinda did. According to Sirimal Wijasinka, he doesn't regret having supported Ranil. But, he says he sees AKD as an avatar of Ranil, so seeking his refuge seems to be good. 1. His beautiful smile has vanished since becoming the president. He feels the actual burden of Ranil's capitalist state. 2. In his address to the nation, he didn't say anything more revolutionary or system-changing than Ranil. 3. I guessed he would have daily meetings with comrades Lalkantha, Handuneti, Tilvin and Bimal to make decisions. Sources close to him say he takes decisions with some others, with the above vanishing from the scene. He holds the burden because people voted for him. 4. Except for media institutions, he appointed pro renal professionals to all others that have been ordered by the IMF to be sold. Lalkantha and Tilvin may be hoping for a party-centred rule like in China, Vietnam and Cuba and the appointment of officials with approval by the party. That won't happen with the neoliberal AKD. At this rate, he won't harm Renil's capitalist system even minimally. The people who hoped for a system change will have to wipe their sweat from their faces. Hurrah for the AKD, who promises to maintain the status quo of Ranil's capitalism. He asks the JV peers who insult his post to wait for six months. The funds left by Ranil are sufficient for four months only. It will be worth seeing how he will look for funds thereafter to buy fuel, gas, milk powder, etc. Sirimal believes AKD is certain to follow in Ranil's footsteps and overcome those challenges. Any attempt at system change could pave the way for Q's and an Aragalaya again. He will have to choose between Ranil's way or the so-called system change he had promised and decide his own fate in the process. Who met Ranil at Ruin's place? By the way... Quite an unexpected meeting happened today at Ruin's place. It was between Ranil and SJB's Maduma Bandara and Lucky. Maduma Bandara met Ranil for the first time since the formation of the SJB. Officials change in SJB, several changes were made to the SJB and the alliance led by it today. Accordingly, Imitiaz will be the chairman of the party, a post vacated by Fonseca. The Samagi Jana Sandanaya will have Hashim as its general secretary. That's it for today. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Pro Tipelagasma.